Now there will be times within design that you want to import multiple images into your particular layout. Now this example shows I've already created an array of frames. These are rectangular frames. So I've used the standard rectangular frame tool to drag these out and apply a fill color. So what I'd like to do here is based on these existing eight frames, I want to place in eight separate images all in one go and then deliver them to each of these respective frames one by one by literally clicking onto them to place the relevant graphic. So I'm going to say place, click on the first, hold down the shift key, click on the last. So I've got all of these selected, hit open. And then I move my cursor to the first frame. I tend to always go for the middle and I just click once. Okay, I don't drag, I just click. So I'm headed for the middle, click, click, click. And you'll see how easy it is to deliver those images to those already existing frames. Now the second way is using a function called Gridify. Now with Gridify, I don't have to have any existing frames, so I'm gonna delete them out. I'm just gonna say place, choose once again all the images, so click on the first, hold down the shift key, click on the last, hit open. Now this way is where literally I'll put my cursor in the top left corner margin, and the important thing here is on a Mac hold down command and shift or Windows Control Shift, you get a grid icon. Now all I do is when I'm ready, keep holding those two keys down, drag. As soon as I start to drag, let go of those modified keys. And then continue to drag to where you want that to end. Now what you can do is hit right cursor key to increase the number of columns, left cursor key to decrease, up cursor key to increase rows, or down cursor key to decrease rows. So I want a grid here that's gonna be two column by four row. And as soon as I let go of my mouse, I get all those images delivered to the page within that function that we call Gridify. 